Hello, guys and gals. Welcome back to HVAC Shop Talk. My name is Zach Ciota. I am the host of the HVAC Shop Talk podcast and the YouTube channel you see right here. Today, we are going to compare several different valve core removal tools for vacuum rating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook them directly up to a vacuum pump with a vacuum gauge, the field piece vacuum gauge, and it's a field piece vacuum pump as well. And we're going to see how high the vacuum goes. Now, I'm not going to tell you what happened. It was an interesting test. We compared several different brands, including an Amazon brand, like a no-name $20 VCRT. So I'm going to test the pump first. You're going to see that. Then we're going to test several different brands. And then we're going to recap at the end of the video. So the first thing we really have to do is check for pump performance. We have to measure what our baseline micron reading is without anything on the pump but the micron gauge. I'm using the field piece micron gauge. And I'm also using a field piece pump. So there you go, field piece. We love you. It should be below 50 microns fairly quickly, as you see it is. So we need to get that final measurement so we can have that baseline. So when we put our VCRTs on the actual pump, we know where we started and we can compare that to where we end up. There's a little picture of our vacuum pump oil. And as you see, our baseline is 33 microns in three minutes, and we're gonna make everything a three minute test here. Here we have the NAVAC VCRT, and that stands for valve core removal tool, if I didn't say so already. The NAVAC is a little bit different than the other ones because it has an attachment where you can use it for 5 16 or quarter inch, which is kind of handy. We're gonna be testing it for quarter inch because there is no 5 16 on the field piece vacuum pump. They have three eighths, half inch and quarter inch. As you can see, after three minutes, we had a 35 micron baseline. So it's right there, right at where we started with the pump. The next one's a Refco. This Refco doesn't have the port on the side for a micron gauge, but it looked like an interesting device to me. It looks totally unlike the other ones. The other ones are all a gold color. I know that's superficial, but it was just interesting. So I wanted to test it too. Let's look at the oil. Ending up there, we're at 38 microns, so everybody is pretty daggone close right there. The next one we're going to be using is the Hillmore VCRT. Hillmore is kind of like NAVAC to me. They're like a newer company, newer products, even though they might not actually be a new company. Their notoriety, to me at least, is fairly new. So again, we're down there in the 40s fairly quickly with the Hillmore VCRT. I like to throw in some dramatic shots here of the appliance we're using. It's very nice. Right there at 40. So we're going to end up almost in the same spot again, right there at 40 microns. As you can see that zero and one on the micron gauge is letting you know if the micron reading is rising or falling. And that is the number per minute that is doing so. Next one is my personal favorite, the Appian VCRT. As soon as I got these, I loved them. These have magnets on the end now, and I think the Hillmore has magnets on the end as well. Kind of completes the package. As you can see, our micron level is falling again, and you can see that minus 49, 50 right there. That's the trend for the micron gauge. So we're dropping an estimated 50 microns per minute, but that's going to change second by second, depending on what part of the vacuum you're in. And as you can see, we're down here at 43 microns, which is really, really close to where we were with all the other ones. This one is the $20 Amazon special. I ordered this one just so I'd have something cheap off Amazon to compare everything else with. As you can see, you can see that handle right there with the yellow coloring on it. A lot of cheap HVAC products have that same style handle. It's kind of like a telltale sign. But as you can see, we're dropping pretty steadily right off the bat. We're going down really low. There's our dramatic side look at the field piece pump looking very beautiful. I do like that pump. It's very nice. The oil changes are superb. You just open that little door right there with the 8 CFM on it change oils while the thing's running. It's fantastic. 43 microns. So what we need to do now is test out. With any test, you must know what we tested in with, which was 33 microns. And you need to know what we test out with so you can know if the oil was degraded during the test. So here we are. We need to find out. What do you guys think? I found from the NAVAC 2 CFM pump that the oil can degrade quickly. That was my estimate. We're still going to check more into that. But that was my theory there. And this right here kind of confirms my theory because at the end, you can see we're at 44 microns. Originally, we were at 33 microns. So let's discuss this. What I learned from this test is that all of those different VCRTs on initial usage, meaning when they're brand new, 
seemed to perform fairly well as far as vacuum. Even the little Amazon one held a good vacuum. And if you can tell, I have it all written down right here. The pump test in was 33, the Navac was 35 microns, the Refco was 38, the Hillmore 40, Appian 43, the Amazon 43, and the test out was 44. All that tells me is they performed exactly the same because it followed the degrading of the oil from test in to test out. We started at 33, we ended at 44 microns of ultimate vacuum, and it seems like all the different VCRTs did just fine. I was really expecting the Amazon, maybe especially, not to hold a very good vacuum level, even in that small space. Now, there's no volume on this test, but we've tested very small hoses in the past with very little volume, and they showed a measurable difference, a significant measurable difference. So I expected something like that this time, and no, it was not the case. So what are we going to do next? We're going to test them under pressure, 400 PSI, each one of these different VCRTs, we're gonna put it under water and see if it leaks at all under pressure. So maybe the Amazon will crack at that point. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. What do you think is going to happen? Put it in the comments. Were you surprised by this test? Did it go exactly like you thought? What would you change? All that good stuff. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? If you liked the video, give me a like and all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one.